Hello children of St. Mark's and welcome back for another story from the World Story Bible from Sparkhouse Family. Today's story, we begin a new book. So remember, we've talked before that the Bible is a collection of books, like a library. So we have finished the first book, which is called Genesis, when we learned about uh creation and Adam and Eve and uh, Rebecca and Isaac and Jacob and Joseph and his brothers and all those other characters. And today we start the second book and it's called Exodus. And Exodus is a big word that means exit. And so we're going to learn how the people, what happens to Joseph's people later. They have it going good when Joseph interprets Pharaoh's dreams and he saves the, them from the famine that's to come. But by the time we get to the book of Exodus, it's a little bit later in history and the, the Hebrews are not doing as well, the Israelites are not doing as well in Egypt as they were because they have become so many that Pharaoh is worried they're going to take over. So before that, we have to meet each of the characters that's going to help save and create this exodus. So in the second book, uh, our safe, our first story is called Baby Moses. If you're following along in our uh, story Bible, it's page 46. I have the Kindle version here on the screen. Hush, baby, hush, a mother sang as she rocked her tiny son. The mother's face was worried. The new pharaoh wanted to get rid of all the Hebrew baby boys. How could she protect her son? Miriam, the baby's big sister, watched as their mother found a papyrus basket. That's it, said their mother. I'll put him in the basket and float him in the river. There he'll be safe. She walked to the river and tucked her son into the basket gently. She lowered the basket into the water. Sister Miriam crouched in the reeds to watch the basket float down the water. Splash, splash. Miriam heard women's voices. It was Pharaoh's daughter and her maids. Miriam held her breath. Would the princess see the basket? Yes. The princess peeked inside. Miriam's baby brother cried out. A Hebrew baby, the princess exclaimed. She lifted him out of the basket. Don't cry, she cooed. Miriam's heart raced. She stood up and spoke to the princess. I know someone who can care for your baby, she shouted. Miriam raced home to get her mother. The princess placed the baby in his mother's arms. He quieted. The princess smiled. He likes you, the princess said. I'll pay you to watch him. The princess looked at the little baby. I will name you Moses, she said, because I lifted you out of water. Moses was safe, and his mother would see him every day. Wow, that, that's a pretty incredible story, because that's not something we would have see happen today. You wouldn't normally put a baby in a basket and hope somebody takes care of him or that you are even lucky enough to be the one to take care of him yourself so join us next time and we will learn more about the life of Moses so he's our new character for this month um, and I will see you next time bye